LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, when trying to repair your laptop keyboard keys, searching by the laptop brand and model may not always be enough information. Many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, however, have differences underneath the keys. The differences include the hinges, retainer clips, and cup color. To help you find the correct tutorial for your key, we have created a searchable database at LaptopKey.com. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, select your laptop brand, model number, and then a visual list of key types will appear. Select the video tutorial that matches your key. That's all. You're now ready to fix your keyboard. Okay, so we're going to show you how to install your keys onto your keyboard. Start out by looking at the metal plates on the keyboard. You can see that the there's a large metal hook on the bottom and two metal plates that have holes, really small holes in them on the top. So make sure to look at the different keys because sometimes uh, they're going to change position. The large hook can be on top, bottom, left or right. So uh, the position of the, uh, those metal plates is going to determine the position of these uh, plastic pieces here and we're going to make these two pieces click together to become one right now so uh, start out with the larger piece here you can see that at the top it has two holes in the corner and at the bottom it has two sticks the two holes are gonna go on the top um, holes there actually they're not really holes they're just smaller hook so those holes go in the two hooks and make sure not to put the whole piece upside down like that by looking at the top here next to those two corner holes there's a gap where the next piece can fit on and if you turn it around then you know the piece is coming upwards so make sure that the uh, the gap is facing upward so that uh, you can fit the next piece on top. Now that you know the position for that piece, put it down in the right position, get the next piece which is this here and you can see this piece has two holes on the top corners also, two sticks in the middle of the sidebars and a large hole on the bottom that large hole is going to go clamped onto the bottom hook on the keyboard here so now you know the position for both pieces actually make sure not to put this piece upside down also by looking at this whole piece like sideways like this you can see that the bottom bar which is this is the bottom bar here you put it sideways you can see that it's kind of going down so that uh, suppose it's going to be touching the keyboard if you put it upside down like this then the whole piece touches the keyboard and the metal the bottom bar is going to be in the air so make sure to make the bottom bar touch the keyboard and now uh, you have both positions for both pieces what you want to do is put the uh, large the top I mean the small piece over the um, put the smaller piece over the large piece and put it right in right through it with just the bottom bar the bottom bar has to go of the small piece goes underneath the bottom bar of the larger piece once you have that hold that in place and click both you know push down on the side bars there so now it's one piece just like that and what you want to do is grab, I mean, put the, uh, the top holes here on the corners of the large piece into the top, I mean, yeah, the top uh, hooks on the metal, on the keyboard. Now, you get something thin, I use a blade, but you can get anything that's thin enough so that you can put it 
in between the uh, the rubbery part, the cup there, and the bar on the small piece. And what you want to do is stretch the uh, plastic pieces um, downward, not against the keyboard, but stretch it downward so that the uh, metal hooks can grab onto the plastic pieces. There you go. Once you have that, you get your key and you put it right in the center. Push it down evenly on all four sides. And there you go. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys.